so goalkeeping. Yes. As a coach, we're not fans, or we we, we don't recruit short goalkeepers because we think you you just gotta be tall. All right. If How tall you, are you, Carmen? I'm only five five, and I got the job done. Oh. So. You did. So. And one of our best keepers that we had last year was not that tall either. And he got the job done, he Carlos. Got, yeah, Carlos was amazing. Yes. And I would have never took a chance on him because of his but height. We but we did. He's, 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 never, he's never proven otherwise. He's always been, like, never making any mistakes. And we never gave him an opportunity until uh, the COVID season came. And we didn't have a backup keeper. And he became the starter. And it was heaven sent because he just tore it up like a starter so much so he got recruited at nationals and we lost him and now he's playing in a division two school oh wow in west virginia west virginia bye carlos bye carlos carlitos yeah uh yeah say say hello uh, so if you are a um undersized goalkeeper what recommendations would you make to them um and what technical things is important if you're undersized. I guess it'd be the same. Some you know. of the things I truly emphasize, especially if you if you don't have the height, it's it's all about footwork and positioning. If you master your footwork, if you understand your positioning when you're in goal, and you you work on your 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 vertical jump, you you can be as successful as any other keeper. But it really it really takes extra training just to understand the footwork that you need to transition from one side to another and understanding your position and when you're in goal, staying aligned with the play and staying connected with your team. I think those are all key points that a keeper undersized needs to understand that they need to work a little extra just to be able to be successful. I'll tell you what um, the Scottsdale Community College coach said about Carlos. I was talking – to him about another keeper in the conference and he said no you know the best goalkeeper in the conference was was yours carlos mm -hmm. and uh he was saying like our whole game plan was to go after him and he caught everything he he was everywhere and they couldn't you know it totally disrupted them as a team and everything because of what he did and we were always in awe all season we're like you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me because nothing affected him that's so, when you know you gotta train to perform you just gotta be ready for that moment take advantage of that opportunity and he certainly did. Yeah. I, and his mentality was different. Nothing mm -hmm. affected him. It was always kind of like happy. We, we we would always say like goalkeepers are they're all kind of messed up or whatever. They're kind of they're different. And like, I think he also really helped him that he just always stay ready. He 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 was waiting for his moment, and then when his moment came, he was able to take care of business. Yeah, and and he certainly did. And and it's exciting to watch someone of his size. Uh, go on to the NCAA and, and, and compete. So we'll be 100%. watching him. Yeah, I'm excited for him. So if you have any questions, are you a short goalkeeper, or undersized, or you're not tall as you wish you were? You Come see me. Yeah, see Coach Carmen. I will take care of you. Do You, you should do like, uh, you should do conversations like uh, in case they're not in Arizona because we okay. have a lot of people that watch and, and well, audio, they're, all over the world, but um, you should you should just have uh, online. Can we get? Um, did you did online. you learn how to do online anything during COVID? We did. I had well, I'm a physical education teacher for legacy traditional schools, so we did go online for almost what was it, three four months. So we just kind of use a platform, Schoology and Google Meets. How can you do that with goalkeeping? I guess you make the video and Vi they can send yeah. the video back. Yeah, you know what? We can definitely like review film and things like that and provide them with a with an evaluation. I was using this uh, pre COVID. I was using this uh, video program, which I hate today, but uh, it was called Marco Polo. Oh, we've used it before. Yeah, we've used it. Yeah, I like that for training. Um, I was training um, uh female player from the North Carolina Courage that Jessica McDonald sent to me and we were just going back and forth on Marco Polo trying to help help her with technique and it would just go back and forth she'd show it and then I would show a new technique and then I would correct it but it was just all over Marco Polo which was pretty cool and that's, then that's a good idea and then they started charging a lot of money I'm like I'm not doing this oh yeah they made everything premium everything really yeah especially especially with the pandemic everybody just kind of took advantage of the, oh, the yeah. online yeah. world 
that's definitely the case. Any, uh, any comments there? Yeah, we actually do have a question. Um, I believe this one's for Carmen. Oh, hello. If you enjoyed that clip, you can enjoy all the clips at youtube.com forward slash Coach Cameron Soccer to get all my content. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know what's going on and when we appear online, which is typically every Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hope to see you this Sunday for our next live show.